Hi, let's see how to fix an error has occurred on Crunchyroll. Are you unable to catch your favorite shows on Crunchyroll? Are you facing the error? Oops, an error occurred in an error has occurred. What's up that right? Why you are getting an error message on your screen? So many questions would arise in to you in such situation. Don't sweat it. We have got you back. You are at the right place to get a solution for this error. Not only you are there, so many others too that are dealing with the same situation. Let's see what are the reasons for an error has occurred on the Crunchyroll. The first cause is low internet connectivity and the second cause is watch queue is filled too much. And the third cause is Crunchyroll server is down. The fourth cause is Crunchyroll app is not updated. The fifth cause is there can be an account related issues. The sixth cause is web browser extension hindering in the Crunchyroll's working. So let's see how to fix an error has occurred on the Crunchyroll. The first method is log out and log into the Crunchyroll sometimes. It all takes to resolve the issues of an error has occurred in logging out of your account and then logging back. It refreshes your session and can clear up the minor glitches. To log out and re-log into the Crunchyroll website in your browser, you need to follow some of the steps. Click on the profile icon in the top right corner. Scroll down to the bottom of the menu. Tap on log out. To re-log in, open a new tab in your browser and then type Crunchyroll. Dot com. Click on the profile icon in the top right corner. Click on the login. Enter your username and the password to tap login. To log out and re log in the Crunchyroll app on your smartphone, you need to follow some of the steps. Navigate to your Crunchyroll app and open it. Access account settings. Scroll down and click on logout option. Confirm logout by tapping yes. Exit the Crunchyroll app. To re-login, open the Crunchyroll app. Click on login option. Enter your credentials. Click on login. To log out and re-login to the Crunchyroll app in your smart TV, you need to follow some of the steps. Navigate to the main menu on the home screen. Find and click the Crunchyroll app to open it. Access account settings. Click on logout. Exit the Crunchyroll app to re-login, open the Crunchyroll app and select the login. Enter the login credentials, click on login. You should get an activation code on your screen. Now go to the laptop or the smartphone and visit the activation service at crunchyroll.com slash active. Now enter the activation code where prompted. And the second method is check your internet connection. Ensure your internet speed meets the minimum requirement for streaming on the Crunchyroll. For smooth, uninterrupted streaming, you generally need at least 5 Mbps. Okay. So, for the high definition content, if you are using a cellular network, then you can try switching to Wi Fi. If you are already using a Wi Fi connection, then you can try disconnecting your Wi Fi and then keep it off for a couple of seconds. Then turn on your Wi-Fi to check if the Crunchyroll is working properly or not. Okay, so the third method is uninstall and reinstall the Crunchyroll app. Sometimes uninstalling and uh, reinstalling the Crunchyroll app on the Android follows some of the steps. Okay, to uninstall the Crunchyroll on the Android, go to the Play Store and search for the Crunchyroll app. Open up on the Crunchyroll store and then click on uninstall. If you are prompted to uninstall this app, click on uninstall button again. To reinstall, just click on install button. To uninstall and reinstall the Crunchyroll app on the iOS, you have to follow some of the steps. To uninstall the Crunchyroll on iOS, run the Crunchyroll icon in your home screen and press down and hold it until the drop down appears. Then click app delete app. To reinstall Crunchyroll on iOS, go to the app store, search for the Crunchyroll and click get. To uninstall and reinstall the Crunchyroll app on the smart TV, follow some of the steps to delete and the Crunchyroll app on the smart TV from the home screen. Scroll down to settings, click on TV device manager, choose the Crunchyroll app, select delete, click OK. To reinstall the Crunchyroll app on the smart TV, open the 
app store on your smart tv and search for the control app click on download option to download and install okay so the fourth method is clear the crunchy roll watch queue if you create a load on the crunchy roll server if you have accumulated too much of stuff in your watch queue therefore it would be a great idea to clear your watch queue from time to time to reduce the probability of showing up an error has occurred on the crunchy roll to clear the crunchy rolls first watch list from the smartphone follow some of the steps if you use the crunchy roll app go to the my account tap on my list select the the show you want to remove and click remove the watch list to clear the crunchy roll watch list from the website follow some of the steps to remove the shows from your watch list on your pc browser log into your account select the menu icon on the top right corner of the screen go to the my queue tap on my queue select the shows you want to delete and delete them to de to clear the crunchy roll watch list from the smart tv follow some of the steps open the crunchy roll app click on the queue option click on my queue click on an m series you want to delete one by one and click delete follow the steps if you use the playstation and the fifth method is clear the caches of the crunchy roll app if you use the crunchy roll app for streaming any series then you should clear your crunchy roll app caches to reduce the app load on your phone's ram too much load on your phone's ram can cause the errors in processing of the crunchy roll app okay so to clear the caches on the crunchy roll app on the android follow some of the steps go to the settings and uh, on your android device go to the storage apps then search for the crunchy roll once you find the uh, particular app click on clear caches okay so in order to clear the caches of the crunchy roll app on the ios you have to follow some of the steps go to settings crunchy roll scroll down now you will see the option that says clear temp data or on next start toggle it on and then open the crunchy roll app to clear the caches of the crunchy roll app on the smart tv follow some of the steps go to settings tv device manager clear clean memory and then clear running apps okay so the sixth method is check the crunchy roll server before engaging in the other solutions you must ensure that the problem and error has occurred is not from the crunchy roll server you can check the down detector for the crunchy roll server status www.downdetector.com if there is a problem with the crunchy roll server you will be able to see the chart of the recent outages and their current status if there are report outages you may need to visit for some time for the servers to be fixed internally before you can watch crunchy roll again and the seventh method is update the crunchy roll app if you are using the older or the outdated version make sure you always use the latest or the updated version in order to update the crunchy roll app on the android device you have to follow these steps sequentially one by one if you are if you are using the ios or the apple devices and if you want to update the crunchy roll app you have to follow these steps these five steps sequentially one by one if you want to update the crunchy roll app on the smart tv go to the uh, in order to update to update the crunchy roll app on smart tv open the app store on the smart tv search for crunchy roll app click on crunchy roll app click on update wait for the update to complete and launch the app and the eighth method is disable the web browser extension while many extensions are useful some can interfere with the proper functioning of the website including the crunchy roll therefore you need to turn off or disable the certain extensions in your browser to turn off your browser extensions you need to follow some of the steps go to settings select extension turn off extensions refresh the crunchy roll page and the ninth method is contact the crunchy roll help and support team okay so what you can do is like you can just uh, contact the crunchy roll help and support team if you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you are still facing some of the problems and if you are still you not got the solution you can contact the crunchy roll help and support team the back end technical team are expertise and they will be able to fix the solution for your problem and the website is help.crunchyroll.com Okay, so that's all about this. Thank you.